Ron Musk, Gray's Pressure Washing Institute. We're going to talk today here a little bit about property managers. When you, you know, when you're selling somebody, anybody, in the sense of, and we don't even have to say property managers, whoever it is that you're selling, you, it's really valuable and important to know who they are and what they do. Um, and let, we'll give you an example, and we'll do this with the property management company. Um, you know, do all these staged ad lib situations, but I'm a property manager. Ring, ring, ring. I answer the phone. Hello. Oh, this is one of my tenants at one of my many shopping centers. You mean the people that always call me and complain? The ones that never call me and say, what a great job I'm doing? Or you mean that every time they call, it's a complaint or something about they can't send the rent check or it'll be there tomorrow in the mail or some other tenants are parking in their spaces or there's a tree down, or the parking lot needs to be restriped, or this, or that, or this, that, this. Okay, I think you guys get it. A property manager is the landlord. She never gets a call, or he never gets a call. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Oh, I'm doing a great job? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and you sent the rent checks early? You mean to tell me that you sent the entire year's rent checks and they're already, oh, I've got them right here. They're here on my desk. Oh, that's great. That doesn't happen, okay? You, you have to know what these people do all day, okay? So if you walk through their office and you give them the same shtick, you know, hi, is the property manager in because I want to? obviously do some work for you. That's like every guy that comes through the door. That's all they ever do. So if you use some of our some of our strategies and some of our tactics, what you're doing is is you're coming through the door in a different light. You're not that tenant that's griping on the phone. Um, you're not you're not the, the investor or the owner that's calling them and beating them about Where's their profit check? You know, where's their check after all the expenses and all the rents and the cams and everything has been collected? Um, you guys have to remember that this is their job and this is what they do. And rarely are they going to get a call, okay, and it's going to be something that's going to be positive. And you guys have to remember this. If you can be that positive focus that walks through that door, the guy who compliments them, the guy who brings them the cheesecake or whatever, whatever it is that you might bring them, uh, the smile, whatever, whatever, whatever it is that you do, but don't bring them all the time misery, you know, because, you know, sometimes they have a job to do and what they really want is they don't want to hear about anybody complaining about anything. So if you know this, and you know that you're and, and you're talking about making their job easier and their life easier. This is going to be a plus right out of the gate because you're you're explaining to them that you understand what they do, and this is a big this this will be a big huge huge plus for you huge plus for you. Um, some people listening to this video won't get some of this because this is geared um, towards a private group that we have here. But if you want more information on selling period, tune in to the PressureWashingInstitute.com or the WindowCleaningInstitute.com uh, for more. Ron Musgraves, Pressure Washing Sales. We'll talk to you later. PressureWashingInstitute.com.